The 2020 elections are only a couple of weeks away. Political activities, as you would imagine, are heating up. But from the experience of a heavily disputed vote in 2012, the stakes are even higher. In the year 2012, the New Patriotic Party rejected the results of an election in Ghana. The Electoral Commission declared that the party polled some 47.7% of a vote compared to the NDC's 50.7% of a vote. We know in Africa, in Malawi, for example, a high court annulled the 2019 results, ordering a rerun in 150 days. Malawi became only the second African country to order a rerun of an election since Kenya in the year 2017. With weeks to the Ghanaian election, the question is, could the elections be decided in court? We unanimously dismiss the claims relating to duplicate serial numbers. For almost a year, the petition hearing dragged, and in September 2013, the court gave its verdict. In a 588-page judgment, the court by a 5-4 majority decision held that the president was validly elected. We might not have been given the ruling we sought, but thanks to our efforts, we can hopefully look forward to an improved electoral process in our country. Seven years on, the country is heading for another election with some questioning the credibility of the Electoral Commission to deliver a free and fair poll. The NDC's John Mahama is one of them. We want to see fairness, transparency and integrity in the process leading up to the election. We in the NDC have exhibited restraint at all times in this electoral process. Even now we are committed to doing so. But we will not accept the result of a flawed election. Looking at some of the utterances that some of the political parties have made, it looks like this time around people like they won't take anything. Yeah, no, but, but, but we've seen this before. Here at the University of Ghana campus, there is a debate over the matter. Stella Sogli Jejom does not expect the vote to be decided in court. I'm praying that like we we'll just have maybe if it's a runoff, as a runoff, we know that oh. In the next week, we'll go and then we'll, we'll vote again and then we'll decide who is winning or who is not. Then that will be it. But going to court and all the other things, I think it will just be stress. Plus, looking at the cost of going back and forth, having to do this, like other countries that the elections have been annulled, we we'll have to like reinvest a, and, like, a whole lot of money again to run an election that we have already run. And that's like financial loss to the country. For Godfrey Damte Labi, there are enough indicators to show the elections could be decided in court. Well, it is clear that there's a bit of tension in the system. You'll be more inclined towards this particular argument when you look at the fact that now we have a lot of new voters, one. Now, to the coronavirus concern, makes it look like we are going to get a lot more people not even go to the post. All these, I mean, pointers that I've indicated clearly makes it seem as if if one loses, it's not going to go down without a fight. Definitely want to go to the court. But the two leading parties themselves are both confident of electoral victory. Whatever the outcome will be, uh, people will exercise their franchise to, to continue with the democracy that we have elected for this country. For us, New Patriotic Party, these are elections, the good people of Ghana will give us endorsement. For the election management body, it is poised to deliver an election that is credible, free and fair. The processes that have been deployed are transparent and credible and make it difficult for anybody to manipulate the vote. Our officers are there. We would not allow one ballot to go unaccounted for. With the various issues arising as the elections draw close, we put the question to governance expert Professor Bafo Ajimandia. I don't think so. I think whoever wins will win decisively. Those who think Anado will win, for instance, maybe they have reasons to think so. But even if he wins, it will not be that huge margin that he got four years ago. I think uh, uh, former President Mahama also has a chance. Uh, so the, 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 what is important is for the Electoral Commission to ensure, as been doing already, that there's full transparency in the process from now to election day and after. Two candidates who have both been president go neck to neck in one of the most anticipated elections. The role of a neutral arbiter cannot be understated. But more importantly, 
the world will be watching as Ghana puts its democratic experiment to test once again. Komla Adum, TV3 News, Accra.